podcast tonight from his work in parks and recreation and blockbuster franchises like Jurassic World and Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. He stars in the Super Mario Brothers movie, which is in theaters and IMAX now. Let's take a look. Just pop in this pipe and we're on our way. Oh. It's the only way to fly, man. Oh, wow. Love these pipes. Oh. Here we are, palace doors, big, big, boom. Come on! <laughs> Woo! Please welcome back to the show our good friend Chris Pratt, everybody! <laughs> Welcome back, old friend. Woo! It's good to be here. Okay, you brought a box. I brought a very special box directly from the Mushroom Kingdom to oh you. Oh my God, this is beautiful. It's, look at this, it's Super Mario Brothers. So uh, that's a, there, there you go. It's the Super Mario Brothers movie. It's an official collectible, they're very rare, Ooh. coin. Wow, look yes. at that. Yes, yes. That's a super. I bashed my skull against numerous bricks in the city <laughs> finding that. <laughs> So I hope you appreciate I, it. I do appreciate it. You know what I bet you appreciate? Since I last saw you, you have had uh, two baby girls. Man, I have, yes. Congratulations. Between you and I, we're gonna repopulate. We are gonna repop. I added, uh, yeah, I added a girl since I last saw you as well. Amazing. Here we go. That's How great. is it? How's uh, being a girl dad? I love it, man. Yeah. It's really, it's really great. Obviously, you know, I, I do have a 10-year-old son, so this is my first uh, time having daughters, and man, it's just, it's fantastic. They really, you know, you hear that maybe the experience is different. It really is, for, and, and in my experience. I mean, my, my daughter, Lila, is so girly. She picks out all her, I, put, I picked her up yesterday, she goes, oh, daddy, it's a cute outfit. Look, you have little cute pockets. <laughs> That's not something Jack ever said to me. Yeah, <laughs> you know? just, just yeah my boys have not mentioned uh, my pockets once. No, no, yeah. <laughs> and I put a lot of work into my yeah, pockets. I know, you go pre yeah, it's nice to have a little appreciation <laughs> for the pocket game. <laughs> now, uh, I'm also, uh, you have a, a father-in-law. Yes. Of, of no, your father-in-law is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Correct, yes, Now, yes. Um, that is, uh, that's gotta be surreal because uh, I'm, I'm assuming we, we're kind from the same generation, he's yeah. a huge deal. He's an inspiration. Yeah, it is pretty surreal. I mean, I've gotten to obviously know him now as, as just the regular guy and, and all of that. He's a great grandfather, a great dad, a, a good father-in-law, and he's got a, a wealth of experience, oddly, in the world of promoting uh, blockbuster action movies. <laughs> yeah. like, who else are you gonna talk to about that kind of stuff? So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, yeah, my father-in-law would never be able to help me yeah, out with let that. Let me ask you something. What yeah. do you think? What should I say? Uh, but it's been it's been very nice. He's he's a he's a great dude. We play chess a lot, and um, he loves his his grandchildren. Who's better at chess? He I've never beat him. Okay, he's incredible. He's really good. I've uh, I've spent a very little amount of time with him, but the most fun thing about spending time with Arnold Schwarzenegger is he yeah. sounds exactly like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, that's a really good Arnold you do. <laughs> you, that's wild, that's good. <laughs> now, was this, uh, uh, was Super Mario Brothers, was that a game you were playing as a kid? Man, I, yes. I, I, honestly, if I had to count up the hours, and then this is no hyperbole, I think it's close to 25 million hours <laughs> <laughs> that I played Super Mario Brothers. It, it, I, I saw the movie, and the movie's fantastic, and there's all these great Easter eggs, and the, and the sound, the soundtrack, it lifts from the soundtrack of the games, and I just had this Pavlovian response to, like, the coin and, and landing on a turtle and breaking a brick and getting the star. I was like, Bleh. I just, like, <laughs> I've been 30 years I've been preparing for this movie, and, and as an audience, you really kind of, you realize just how hypnotizing that music has been, so I, I, I don't think people are quite uh, ready for what's coming to them, but... It's, it's very promising for us. I, mean, <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of these movies coming out because it's so good. And Jack, uh, your son, uh, he also uh, dabbles in this game, right? Yeah, so he's, he knows he's, it? he's a Smash Brothers guy. Okay, you gotcha. know, He plays Smash on his uh, 
on his Switch. So he hasn't played, I don't think we've played the original Nintendo Entertainment yeah. System Super Mario Brothers game, the game that I played so much as a kid, but he plays like Mario Kart and Smash Brothers. Were you also, uh, were, were you the generation that would actually go to the arcade and, and play coin-operated games? I was, I was right in that sweet spot. So I, it was late 80s when I first uh, was introduced to the Super Mario Brothers or Mario Brothers arcade style game. I grew up in a very small town and there wasn't anything to do. And so I'd come home from school and I would walk across the street to this little coin-operated laundromat, Folds Laundry, still in Lake Stevens, Washington. And um, there was an arcade game there. I never had a quarter, but I would just stare at the game. I'd hit the buttons. I was like, maybe one day I'll be able to play this. And then I found out that Alfie's Pizza, also still in Lake Stevens, had a jukebox that was tucked into the corner, and the coin return was on the back side. So people would put their money in, and they like, this, this piece of crap ate my coins. But I knew they were in the back. And my, my little nine-year-old arm would reach back and, three, and dislocate my shoulder. Pull, I checked. That was my routine every day after school. Go to Alfie's. Check the coin return. If there were coins, go to Folds. <laughs> So you were just walking back and forth. Yeah, like we're just, I, beat a path, I beat a a triangular path between Alfie's and Folds. Was know? there something about somebody would give you money uh, if you got in the dryer? Yes, yeah. If, I, if, if, uh, the, if coin fishing didn't work out at Alfie's, I talked to Jason, who was the teenager, who seemed like an adult at the time, but he was the teenager <laughs> who operated the, or you know, ran the desk. At and, the laundromat. At the laundromat, and he would give me a quarter in exchange, I'd have to get in the tumble dryer. <laughs> And uh, he'd hit tumble dry. <laughs> this is kind of win-win for me I as a kid. It's pretty great. As a kid, what do you complain Giant tumble dry. You're like, this is a dunk, 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 dunk. I can't believe it. I'm living the dream. And then I get the quarter. It was amazing. Yeah. I mean, I guess all my questions for this are really probably for Jason. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also, we have some uh, members, some, some, uh, some gentlemen in uniform that like to talk to Jason yeah. too about. Wouldn't yeah. have thrown a kid in a tumble dryer. <laughs> yeah, I loved it though. I, I mean, I was, I always wanted to be a stuntman growing up. So I was always, my brother and I was throwing ourselves down the stairs. Yeah. So a tumble dryer was nothing. Tumble dryer was nothing. Yeah. Come on. Dude. Yeah. It's easy quarter. <laughs> it was yeah. the, the easiest, easiest quarter ever made. Best five minutes of my life for that quarter. <laughs> <laughs> I come um, out a little smaller. Uh, uh, you know, uh, last week uh, uh, we had your old Parks and Rec colleague uh, Adam Scott on the show. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I'm wondering, do you guys still keep in touch? I mean, it was a really close group yeah. of people. You were here in 2000, I guess 15 was it, where we all we had a cast show where you were all out here for Whoa. the season. Yeah, finale. I remember that. I think like, wasn't uh, Aubrey making out with Jim O'Hare yeah, right did, here, yeah. and yep. Nick was playing guitar and. Oh, those are the good old days, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we, we, still, we still keep in touch. We have a text thread that goes and, you know, people's birthdays and, and celebrations. And obviously, so many of the cast members are doing such amazing things. It's a things. really nice like, time for all of you. Checking in and supporting each other. Yeah, for sure. We still, we still have that text thread going. And you, uh, you're going to have to start another one because the, your time with Guardians is coming to a close as well, which has uh -oh. been an incredible journey with another special group Thank of people. You. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah. I think people forget that... You know, Guardians wasn't a property people knew as well, and it was, I don't think people had the same anticipation or thought it was gonna do as well as it ended up doing. No, they really didn't. I mean, I remember, in fact, on our last day of shooting on volume three, we knew this was the end, and, and it was a little bit like, you know, the last day of your senior year. It's like, you're excited for summer, but are you ever gonna see your friends again? It's like that, that trepidation, you don't really wanna walk away. And I was just taught, I addressed the cast and the crew and the director, and I said, and I pulled up from my phone, like about 10 uh, headlines from the press when the movie was being released, all of which completely predicted this massive bomb. They're like, uh, is, are you ready? I remember the press, are you ready to be Marvel's first big bomb? Why is anyone gonna watch this movie? <laughs> no one gives a crap about the Guardians of the Galaxy. Wait, is a raccoon in a tree? There's no A-list stars in this thing. So this is gonna suck. And I'm like, oh my God, and at the time, you know, I was like, it probably is gonna suck. You know, this is it for me. At least I got to try. And, then it, you know, it came out, and by the grace of God, it did very well, and we're, and we're still working, so. Yeah. Well, it's really exciting. Man, what a delight to have you back here. Dude, it's, it's really so, always it's so special to see you. Thank you so much, so nice you guys. That's Chris Pratt, Super Mario Brothers.